Tammy Baylor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Sale, and today I am here with Lindsay Steiner with Real Estate Exposures Photography. Lindsay is my personal favorite for professional real estate photography. She photographs all of my listings, and Lindsay's been in the business for about eight, eight and a half years. Is that right, Lindsay? Yeah. So Lindsay's going to tell us today how to best prepare your home when you're getting ready for your real estate professional photography photo shoot. That's a math word. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, so the, the best advice I can give you just overall is that your photos are your first showing. It's like your first open house, your first impression. And so any um, work you can put in before your photography appointment is going to pay off in the long run. Um, as buyers are scanning through tons of listings looking for ones that catch their eye, the photos are the most important thing in my opinion. And so if you don't capture their attention with that first look, there's a less chance that they're going to step foot in your door. Um, so when you're still living in your home and you're preparing it for photos, decluttering is huge. Um, and we get used to the things that are in our house on a daily basis because they look normal to us and we're used to it. Um, but somebody else who's walking through might see it as clutter or junk or a distraction from the home. And you're selling them the home, not your belongings. So any declutter you can do, um, putting things in closets or the garage or the basement if it's unfinished, that'll make a huge, um, a huge difference in helping the buyer come through and see the home and not your things. And um, neutralizing things, giving it a fresh coat of paint, taking away distracting colors from rooms can be huge. Um, if there's bright colors in rooms, your eye will be drawn to that and not the room itself. And getting rid of things like um, papers that are on the counter, toys, um, you want to make your beds, put your clothes away, things like that. Um, depending on the time of year, it can be hard to kind of clean up outside, obviously right now. Winter, it's hard to get rid of the snow, um, but anything you can do outside to help the curb appeal, make it look a little more appealing, um, make it, you know, clean your sidewalks off, clean your driveway out, anything that helps the buyer see the home and not your things is gonna be huge. Um, some people recommend depersonalizing by taking down family photos and things like that. And I kind of say that's a personal opinion thing. It does, again, help the buyer imagine themselves in the home, which is the goal. So decluttering is the biggest thing. Cleaning is another thing. Um, you don't see as much of the dust and such in photos, but obviously you want your home to be presentable for showings. And so, you know, if you haven't gone through and done a deep clean or even just, you know, a dusting and a vacuuming, that can be important for pictures too and for your showings after the home is listed. Great advice. Thank you so much, You're Lindsay. Welcome. Lindsay and I are never too busy for your referrals. If you have any other questions about how to prepare your home, you can contact me. Or, Lindsay, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, you can reach out to us at info at realestateexposures.com. We short it to rexps.com. And we have a prep page on our website. We can also send it to you as a PDF that goes through each room and gives suggestions for how to prep it before your photography appointment. Great advice. Thanks everybody. Make it a great day.